block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I'm bad, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. took a ride in the L, L, come on, man, yeah. Yeah. I'm took yeah. a hold down, where to kill me. So, back then, the music you were listening to, who was the one that really was like, hey, right, man, this dude, this my rap guy, this is, this is, this is who I like? Man, there was several of them. Because, you know, uh, back then, like, uh, when yeah. I was first hearing, I, I think the first album that, uh, like, really amazed me uh -huh. was Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted. Okay. okay. Like, just the way it yeah. was. Well, because I was already a Public Enemy right. fan, you know what I'm saying? So it it sounded like a Public Enemy album, yeah, but it yeah. was Cube. Yeah, then he had the KKK on there. What? Yeah, he had KKK on there. You know what I'm saying? That album cover was America, KKK. <laughs> and, a whole, and a whole bu a whole bunch of people behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that I mean, Ice Cube was a bad boy, though. You know what I'm saying? All, I think all his albums were underrated. You know what I'm saying? Just think about War and Peace. And oh, had that man. dance underwater and not and get, get wet. wet. Say, so, uh, my shit on there was that... Uh, but all the, my ex bitches and all that shit. I love, I love, boy, that war and peace, all that shit go hard. Mm -hmm. We was jamming that. Yeah. But it was messed up, though, you know, how, you know, the generation really changed real fast. Cause, like, next thing you know, she was cute. Like, we be clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, but hey. But he was still eating them, though. Hey, say, my nigga. Especially my nigga on Grand to, Finale. Oh, so he had to, but my nigga had to promote them movies. Yeah, man. he had to promote the movies. Yeah, he, but he was doing it. Nah, well, he was doing oh, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, nah, for sure. Nah, for real. So Q was an influence, right? It's okay. Yeah, uh, Face, Ghetto Boys. Oh, yeah, that's um, Face. Man, UGK for sure. Yeah. A Ball and MJG. A Ball, M. You know what I'm saying? J. Yeah. Mother. Fucking yeah. G, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you know about what, nigga? What you, what, what you know about some ball? <laughs> what, what you know about some other football? Uh, man, 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 say I get a, uh, I get a lot of comparisons to eight ball. Right, a yeah, lot of you, people you got they, the tone. You know when what they saying? hear my shit, they say, man, this nigga sound like eight ball. Mm -hmm. It's either eight ball or slim. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. A ball, that's my that's my guy. I heard Mr. Mike comparisons too. That's my guy. Mr. Mike, that was a bad boy. Hell yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mike what? was a bad boy too. You know what I'm saying? Man, that whole suave yeah, roster, yeah, all that. of it, the, man, they had crime boss. Crime boss. I love crime boss. Listen, all that shit. Crime boss crazy. Yo, shout out Crime Boss. You know what I'm saying? Crime Boss crazy. He was in his own lane. You know Boy. what I'm saying? So <laughs> now when did you start taking the music series? Um probably around 15 years old or something, I ended up getting with another dude in the apartments. Uh, his name was Sid. He had a record label called C Notes uh, Entertainment. Okay. And uh, we'll start doing stuff with him. And uh, then I actually bumped into my partner, Mr. Mayberry, really, because Mr. Mayberry, my dad, and Mr. Mayberry's mom, they was all mm -hmm. cool. They Langston University alumni, all okay. that. So, okay. you know, um, my dad introduced me to Mr. Mayberry, and that's how I ended up getting over there with, he, uh, with eternal life. And We're going to get to eternal life. I'm glad you said eternal life. But before we get to eternal life, like, was at this time when you was with Barry and all them, you know what I'm saying, was you producing too, or you were just a rapper at this time? I was just a rapper. And you still had Mr. Danger? No, no, I was Kool Aid. Back. I was Kool Aid by then. Okay, okay, so you was Kool Aid by then. Oh, yeah, so, for sure. So, where the name Kool Aid, like Kool Aid and why? Okay, the reason why is uh, I used to go to the bus stop drinking a cup of Kool Aid every morning, and I wouldn't talk to these people that I just met, and they'd be like, "Oh, nigga, you ain't gonna say nothing to nobody. We just go call you Kool Aid." Oh, what? You know how that shit goes. All right, bet, bet. Damn, the nigga should have. I should change my name to motherfucking Garcia Vega. <laughs> <laughs> And now, uh, well, they was like, yeah. you coming out here say, not saying nothing to nobody every morning, but you got right. a cup of Kool Aid. Right. Don't tell me that's what's in that cup, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> I always said, hey, 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 see it. So, you ain't had no, you ain't had no, you ain't had no, you ain't had no uh, problem with Kool Aid reaching out to you. I know you added the D, extra D to the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. On some of them, it be the extra D, and some of them, it don't. You know uh, what I'm saying? And that'd be confusing. That's who, uh, that is some people that don't, uh, like on the credits, they don't put the extra D sometimes. But. Man, y'all niggas out there, you need to get y'all credit right. Call 
That's what split sheets for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do a split sheet. You have all my info, and then you got my number on the split sheet. Call me if you can't get my name right. You know what I'm saying? But, get my name right, because that's what they did on the Trap Star album. They, they, mm. they, yeah, they, my name all wrong on her, but they, everybody know who the name that's yeah, on her, yeah. but it still is like, it's spelled wrong, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool. It's shout so out, good. shout out, trust <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, hey, play us fuck up. Yeah, play us fuck up, you know what I'm saying? But it's already, I want my plaque. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> we need to go get that. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? That, we need to go get that from Universal Republic. We need to go get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, black and blue cell phone hookup. A ver, see how you work. Hello? I want $40 worth of smoke. What? Coño, que mierda este pinche teléfono. Of course I do. I've been getting from you for weeks. You mean you ain't got, what? I can't hear shit. Who? Phones are all fucked up. What? You got any reason? Who is this? Who the hell you think I am? I don't know you. I've been getting it from you for the longer. You better get me some smoke, man. I'm not calling you. Don't you talk to me if you ain't got no reefer, man. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you, too. Eat shit, too. I got a dial phone. I gotta push automatic dial. 